And we're back. We're back. And just like those dinosaurs. You guys oh. remember that movie? I don't know if you really do, but I do. Okay, so it's separation. We just got done with the Navajo, and... That was boring. And we're going way back to... This is before... It looks like this is before she went into the CIA, but after she met the Eye of Sauron for the first time. Separations! Is that is that a song or are you just, nah, I'm just, are you making just vocalizing it? Okay. No, it's good. Yeah. What's all this? Does oh, she have a helmet because she's retarded? Is that her phone? Oh, please, those retard helmets. <laughs> I want that to be a brand of helmet. <laughs> Tell me if you feel anything in particular about oh, this Oh, it. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at the music box. But it's full of gossip. It's full of fart gas. Oh gosh, it is. Okay, so oh look at that! Oh, she swung with it. Taking it right to the face. Ha! <laughs> smile. Oh no, it's Will of the Foes, that family. That's why he's so invested in Jody. It's gotta be. How fucked up would it be if you got a music box and it had like that clown? That voice? horrible clown music. <laughs> By the way, just so you know, close it and break it just so you know, I'm cutting you singing Separation with the clown music, and that's the intro song. Nice. Uh, we're going to say nothing. We want to learn all we can about Willem Dafoe's family. Does he not know? Yeah, of course not. Man, it would be, like, uh, I don't know if you saw that video, but there's, like, a, a video where, like, there's a realtor showing somebody a house, and... You talking yeah, about like, Future House? No, it's not Future House. That's that's something I know I've shown. But uh, there's a realtor showing some people a house, and like it turns out he's a ghost. But it's <laughs> have you seen that? Did I show you that? No, but it's <laughs> it's it's really good because like they're just like well like let me think about it for a second, and the realtor walks away like you know to give them some space, and like a guy in a bathrobe walks in and he's like, what are you guys doing in my house? And they're just like, a realtor was just showing us this house. And he's just like, a realtor was murdered in this house 20 years ago. And, like, they showed the <laughs> they showed the realtor, like, taking them through the house and stuff. And then they showed, like, a flashback of them talking to the realtor. And he's just like, hello, I'm the realtor. I'm a ghost. When, like, at the beginning he was just like, hey, I'm your realtor. My name is this. Like, there was not even anything about that. And then they have that part where it's just like, okay, I'll give you guys some time to walk off. But in the flashback, he was just like, I'll give you guys some time to walk off. Ooh. <laughs> it was just, ah, oh, God, it was so good. I love when flashbacks like that, you know, happen. Like, I just think it'd be so funny if in this, it turned out Willem Dafoe was the ghost the whole time. I'm actually, I'm, I'm like totally, I'm totally on board with what's happening right it's now, which is, uh, right, the CIA are showing up and just right. taking Jody away. It's yeah, not like she's getting work. recruited. Yeah. They're basically telling Willem Dafoe, no more tests. <laughs> she's mine so now. evil looking with a shadow on his face. Hey, this guy's bad news. Oh, he's so sad. Jody? You come here, please. His spiritual replacement for his daughter's being taken away too. Look at how sad his eyes are. His eyes are so expressive, like a bird's eyes, but okay. not like a shark's eyes. If I now, if I mess with the yeah, I <laughs> open up oh, now. Oh my god, dude! It's like figuring out for the no. first time in Assassin's Creed you can move the camera while they're talking, yep. making it like super dramatic. And just zoom in on all the people. Oh uh, man, I used to love. I like. I actually, I didn't used to zoom in anybody. I would walk up to the camera as Altair a lot of the time, just yeah. like so it was right against his face while someone was talking. Yeah. Behind. <laughs> it's like super cinematic. So this is James Bond from the CIA. James Bond, extra gay from the CIA. <laughs> I like how they're saying, like, they want you to join the agency. What he's saying is, you don't get choice. You Do it. You don't get choice. No freedom. Oh, why are they shrinking? Because she's scared. Oh, okay. That's dumb. Yeah. It's like the same shaking, uh, like, font you see in, like, horror stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm determined. 
I am I not a child. No one can force me to well, go. does... Well, the birthday section! Well! It's difficult, but... You need to understand <laughs> this is a great opportunity for you. This is a great opportunity for you. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm cold. Tell the CIA I'm aggressive. Because I'm not. Going I'm gonna tell you what it what it is. Yes, I'm gonna listen. tell you I don't want this CIA bull, right. bull business. All you want, but you'll shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, man. Yeah. Just shut your mouth. It's insult. Oh, insult. Hell's yeah. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Okay. It's funny because now he's gonna do that to her. Oh. oh man, possess the black doctor. Give him some jive. <laughs> I like how Willem Dafoe knows. He just looks at her and is like, oh, you're dead. I, I love that uh, she could have just been like, I could kill you right now to like, get the CIA that shoved her. Yeah. Because he, she could technically do that with this ghost genie. Yeah. Oh, Aaron Paul <laughs> does not mess around. Oh, Willem Dafoe. Look at you being a dad. <laughs> I just pictured him like, Joni goes to the CIA, she does the training, then she calls him and says that she wants him to come get her, and he just hops onto his green goblin just vehicle and just flies over to save her. Best dad ever. <laughs> Speaking of green goblin, that third Spider-Man movie was the worst. It was the worst. It but was not okay. I, I liked the first two. I especially liked the second one. Yeah, I know, right? It was hella good. But Eric from Mega64 hates it, and I feel so bad when I listen to him talk, because I generally Eric, agree. No. I agree with a lot of the things that Eric says, even though he's like a fuckbag a lot of the time about stuff. Can I play sad guitar? Oh, the guitar's gone. Oh, God, they took it away from me. <laughs> Your one outlet. Your one outlet. I got a. Can I mic? Is that a is that a painting of ninjas? What's up there? It's painted in the blood of Aaron's enemies. Oh, and it's just guitar players with. Those look like the flames from um of rock. They look like the same flames they used for the team Diger and Flag. They do a little bit. Oh man, I forgot to tell you. If Kamina was... comes flying out of there, then you win. Uh, I found like a really awesome uh, fucking shirt slash. You can get a shirt or poster or like anything kind of with this print on it, but it's like. The shape of the glasses, you know, the sunglasses, oh. and it's just like, believe in me, who believes in you? Like, yeah, that's the sunglasses. I actually sent like, one of my fuck friends. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I sent a male friend of mine a no. Valentine's Day card that was from. Wait, Kamina. look at that poster over there. That one looks a lot more like a garden login situation. Back on the other wall. Keep turning it. Keep turning it. Keep turning it. Keep turning it. Over there, the red one with the white. Does it not look like Gurren Lagann? From it like really a does, distance? actually. Just edit out the girl jumping in the middle, right? and it's all fixed. Uh, it's, it's crazy. But uh, you sent... Oh, yeah, I remember you told me. It was me, a Valentine's Day card. that said, roses are red, violets are blue. Believe in the me who believes in you. I love that shit. So and so I now send that to all my... I just text it to uh, people. I wish I wasn't so like miserably in love with that show. It's just so ridiculous. I'm gonna buy you those glasses one day. No, oh, man, I hope so. I'd wear them like as much as I could. I I know I'd have them welded to your face. Oh man, you know what? I'd actually get one of those like those piercings that go through here, so yeah. it would just stay on constantly. Now what am I? Oh, please no packing prompts. Please no packing prompts. Oh. God. Fudge packing prompts. She's just so. I like that you're making her pace like she's just super upset. That's so good. <laughs> you're making her all angry like an angsty. Oh, God. Walk around. Take all the pictures. That's such a picture. Like, I, I don't oh, mean... Oh, I'm not taking... <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. Did you press the command to do that? Well, it was... There were two prompts, one back on the desk and one for the bag. And I thought okay. the one for the desk made you just put it back. And I, I, I guess I looked at the bag one wrong, and I took it as a floor prompt, like you were just going to throw it on the ground. <laughs> but no, I was dead wrong. She's <laughs> crying all the time. It's no wonder she has so many new clothes when she goes to the CIA. Her other ones were stained with tear salt. Yeah, oh gosh. Well, it helps keep the ghosts away if you do it in a circle. It's true. Supernatural reference. 
Yeah. Oh, man, man, speaking of Supernatural, can you imagine if Sam and Dean showed up in this fucking, like, movie thing, yeah. this game, and just wrecked, like, you know, our, our character Ghost right the hell up? It's like, they just shot Aaron. Earth is for humans. I'm actually, I'm going to take the bunny. Give me the prompt. Because the bunny's clearly the key. Like, uh, what's gonna happen is she's gonna be about to die, and the bunny's gonna come to life and save her, and M. Night Shyamalan's gonna dive out of a closet and go, YES! Now he's gonna burst from the bunny's chest. Yes. <laughs> and then Sigourney Weaver's gonna show up and shoot him in the head. Yes. What do you mean, well, if I press stay, I don't... It does, the prompt just comes back. Oh, I can. Oh, I can take the sad drawings. No, I wanted. I wanted it. I wanted it. Don't. I think that she is so take sad. Take your about hands off this. your face and let me do it. Shut up, your face. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna take everything that I can. Half it's not half. even. It's. Just, how did she do that? That's actually She's a fucking witch, is what she is. Did you see her fold that so perfect? With one hand. Yes. That, she didn't even crease the top of it. She didn't need to. Aaron Paul got the other half. I was thinking more like, you know, she just folded it with such force. Oh, we're definitely not taking this picture. It's not her yeah, family. Yeah, throw it on the floor. That's not what I... Why would I slam the controller? Oh, did she rip it off? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, what'd good. What do you think was happening? Well, when it did the slam it on the floor, I first thought that she was just going to drop it and not care. But then when I saw her, it looked like she took it out of the frame. I was like, don't take it in the frame, put it in the bag. What if, what if she didn't... I, I can't even imagine if they had, like, had her drop it. Like, it'd just be too ridiculously cinematic. Like they I, were just, I, I can't get that picture back. I they're hate expressing more. too much emotion. And, like, it'd be funny if they captured it, like, falling slowly. <laughs> God, stop doing that, camera. Oh, also, special shout-out today to uh, Doctor Who. 50-year anniversary today. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good job for them. This, actually, there's actually a special that's going to be on today featuring some doctors from the past. That's awesome. I actually, uh, it's funny that you said that because I was just watching a video that was like, um, Undead Time Lords, I think is what it was called. Yeah. I, I fucking loved it. It's just like a little video of like some guys dressed as Doctor Who and like they're all zombified and they're <laughs> dancing to some sort of music. This guy, he, I'm so surprised he doesn't hate her. Why? Because remember that one time she had him possessed? No. Oh, that's right. You weren't here for that video. No, I was not. In one of the videos, she she wants to go out to a party, so she has him possessed and has him just walk her out of the building. Good. And also, damn, I wonder what it feels like to be possessed. He knows that now. He does. He can't unknow. I'll always be there for you. I wish that I could unknow things so that I could experience them again. Like, if I could take away my knowledge of Gurren Lagann, aside from the fact that I know it's awesome, I'd watch that all the time. It's, it's like, like you write the I note watch. to yourself, watch this. Like, it's fucking good, Doc. Just do it. it. And it's like, also, like, here's the URL for this thing called Travis the Moonstar. You gotta watch it. Oh, God. Moonstars. 